Welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan Troyer TV. If it's your first time watching, we like to mix it up here, talk a little bit about traveling, money, real estate, and life in general. Today's topic, very important, three ways to invest in yourself. You might hear a lot of people talking about it on the internet. Always first invest in yourself before you do this. Let's get into it. Let's and three ways to invest in yourself. It's Ryan Troya TV, let's roll. Number one on my list to invest in yourself is good old fashioned books. You gotta shift your mindset when it comes to what you want in life before you really invest in yourself to see your why, your purpose, who you are and who you wanna be. What shifted me personally years ago was Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And now I read a bunch of different kind of books from real estate to mindset to sell any self-development books. I love to read. When it comes to fiction books, stuff like that, romance novels, count me out of that. That is not how I want to invest in myself personally. But see here, I mean, if we're going to look at some of these books, Your Next Five Moves by Patrick Bet David, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Way of the Wolf, Jordan Belfort, Power of Broke, Damon John from Shark Tank. I read these type of books. I love them, they make me better and consistent. You wanna really be consistent when you begin reading, investing in yourself, getting a flow. Build your habits up. So if you're gonna start reading, pick your topic, move around a little bit and keep moving forward. Number two, number two, number two. Number two on my list is podcasts. A lot of people listen to them. First, you might wanna figure out where you're going, where you're headed, who you are, and your why in your personal life. If you can find a topic that relates to that, that's gonna better you, grow you, then go all in on podcasts. If you're going to work, if you're going in the car, if you're going to the gym, throw on a podcast. It's going to be a lot better than some other type of music or radio or news, whatever else you could compare it to. Get something that stimulates up here and grows you. That's why I like podcasts. Listen to them at the gym every morning. Rarely will I ever listen to music, so I'm always thinking about the next step. Hear something, pick it up, jot it down in my notes, and keep on going. Okay, let's go to number three, guys. Third way, all right, conferences. I wasn't actually a big believer in conferences until recently. I went to my first conference called The Vault 2021 in Miami, Florida, hosted by Patrick Bet David. We went through an incredible lineup of speakers, practical exercises, and networking. The true value, there's no number on it you can really put on it, from the contacts you can make networking with people to the value that the speakers bring to the exercises. There's many different types of conferences out there, so I encourage you to get in, research a little bit, see what it's all about, and go to some conferences, guys. Meet some people, do some networking. Hey, maybe you'll meet someone that's gonna change your life, change your future. Maybe you can help someone change their life or their future, and maybe you make a dollar or two. All right, guys. So when it comes to investing yourself, you have to put stuff up here, and maybe right here for it to come out. Well, maybe not the muscles part, but you get what I mean. Put, put, feed the brain, put it in, you'll get the results later. Maybe you're not gonna get it next year, maybe you're not gonna get it the year after, but if you consistently, consistently work on yourself, invest in yourself, then you're only going up, you're only going places. Okay guys, these were my three tips for investing in yourself. I hope you found it valuable. Hopefully you can take something away from it. Reading books, podcasts, conferences. There's probably a million other ways to invest in yourself, but this is just a few. And a little bit of a bonus for the conferences. 
So most people might not know this, but it actually is a tax write-off. We did, I did personally take advantage of that. So my flight, meals, and hotel stay going from North Carolina to Florida, that's all tax deductible. It's a write-off on my business. I'm going there for that. And that is actually what we did. I didn't have enough time to really go out and do a whole bunch of stuff when we were in Miami, but we took away a lot more value up here that's gonna benefit us in the long run. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Until next time, thank you for watching.